Hey guys, welcome back to part 4 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Just going to start off with some more side quests for these guys. Hopefully we get after some more of those legendary animals. Or possibly one of the rain or bank cost, but we'll see. Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you're here. Morning, Arthur. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where they So, Arthur, when I was in Valentine, nosing about. I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. Sir, transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! You, you gotta get me out of here! Let me out of here! I got a wife and kids! Shut up and keep still! I never robbed a thing in all my life! Come on! Oh, you're giving me a headache! So, what did they do? Just what in the hell is your problem? What are you doing? Oh, my holes in Let me out! Shoot the lock! Am I glad you showed up when you did? I don't have no money to give you, but I do have some information that might interest a man like yourself. There's this odd lady who collects things. Has a place uh, north of Strawberry. All kinds of goodies, I hear. <laughs> Might be something there for you. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks again. <laughs> Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low.
Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the nah, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. It's very valuable. Good? Not good yet. Somewhere. Don't even speak English. should about cover things.
there. Hey! The hero returns. Everything all right? Good. Let's keep it that way. How did you get on here, Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I've just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you're kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. 
All right, I'll leave. Sharon saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. You didn't tell me what the old Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. That's because you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. Well, I smell like a stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd be smelling worse if we'd done what someone was arguing for. Granted, granted, I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends, if I can. You don't know the half. I do know Combe killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with. A woman killer. Well, it was after he killed his brother. And the way I understood it, the... Making excuses for the man. And his crimes. What kind of trap you leading us into, boy? I ain't. I'm trying to help. Honest. One thing goes wrong. One thing other than you smelling funny, you're the first O'Driscoll will shoot. <sighs> And quit breathing on my neck. And now we go left. The uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know. You all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature. You're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. And you looked, but you ain't seen. John. Shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. We're taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. 
close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Fine. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Cormo Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Let's get closer. Loses it. I won't get it.
Combs still here? Hey, he said Combs be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are. At least you got something tucked away. Okay guys, well that'll be a slightly shorter one now. Just because of the other one. And we'll head back to camp and continue with more missions soon. So I'll see you guys in the next one.